everybody and welcome to the video. This is once again your iGadget lady and today I want to do something really fun. I've got 21 amazing Apple Watch tips that I think are really going to impress you. So I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly and I don't know uh, about you but for my Apple Watch it's just become a little toy for me. Um, I've really have a nice little watch collection, but ever since I've gotten my Apple Watch, I only watch, uh, wear this one. So let me know about you. Have you worn any other watches since you bought your Apple Watch? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, I do the research so you don't have to. So let's go ahead and dive into these Apple Watch tips and tricks. Now, the first tip we're going to get into is how to quickly go back to the last app that you just used code in there. So to do that, let's pick an app first. So I'm just going to pick, how about the settings app? Of course, I picked one that takes a little while to load. So anyway, here we are at the settings app. So say I am at my clock and I want to get right back to that app that I just used. It's so simple. Just double click this crown button real quick. One, two. Perfect. Just like that. That's how you quickly go back to the last app you used on your Apple Watch. Tip number two. We're going to clear all of our notifications. Now we can either do this one by one or we can do them all at once. So in order to do this, you're going to want to swipe down to reveal your notifications. If you want to just get rid of the one, swipe to the right or swipe to the left rather <laughs> hit clear and that'll clear just that one notification now if you want to clear all of your notifications you want to use that force touch press down hard and hit clear all easy as that okay now this has got to be one of the coolest features for me on the apple watch because I misplace my iPhone so often, it's not even funny. So to quickly find your iPhone with your Apple Watch, all you want to do is scroll up to reveal glances. Get to this screen here. Right now I'm in uh, OS 2 on my Apple Watch, so it looks a little different than some uh, if you have the uh, OS 1 still installed. Click this phone icon here. And it is going to ping your iPhone. How cool is that? One feature that they took away, and if anyone is in at Apple is possibly looking at this video, they need to bring it back. OS 1, you could hold this down and the flashlight would come on. Why the heck is that gone? I really want to know. I need that. It, it was a great feature. So cool but I'll still take this one. Here's tip number four. You can actually set your Apple Watch a few minutes ahead. Now, sometimes I like that feature because it lets me be on time all the time. So to do that, go to settings. And then what you're gonna wanna do after you go to your settings app is that you wanna click on uh, time right here and then you want to click this zero plus minutes now from here you can set it as much ahead as you want I usually like to keep mine about 10 minutes ahead that way I'm never late <laughs> just hit set and that'll do it and now your Apple watch is 10 minutes ahead Cool little trick, that's tip number four for you. And this is number five. It's how to change the monogram on your Apple Watch. It works on several different faces, but I usually use this face. See, as you can see there, that logo is the Apple Watch logo. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. 
Now, it's a little different than the way that I did it on myapplegadgets.com, and I'm probably going to update that soon. But with iOS 9, Apple has made some recent updates, and it used to be you could do it right from the Apple Watch, um, which you still can, but it was a little bit easier. So what you're going to want to do right now is start first in the uh, Apple Watch app. Make sure you're on my watch there. Now, once you do that, let's scroll to clock and monogram. And we'll delete this. I'll show you how it used to work, which was so easy. You're going to want to go to the Apple Store. Uh-oh. And you're going to get this particular app here. It's called Unicare Picker. So it's free in the app store. So you want to going to want to go ahead and grab that app and open it. Go to settings. Go to general. Scroll down to keyboard. Click on keyboards. You're going to hit add new keyboard. And I've already got it added, so it's not going to appear down here. So once you have it added, let me go back here. Make sure you allow full access so that it will work. So once you do that, you're all set. So let's go back to the Apple Watch app. Now here's how it used to work. You could simply click on that Unicare keyboard and it would turn into that particular keyboard. With the update, it doesn't do that anymore. So I'm going to show you an alternative route to go ahead and get customized monograms without just it being letters like I Gadget Lady. You can do that, that's fine, and it'll give you those initials when you turn your watch back on. But if you're like me, you want it to look a little more flashy. So this is what you do. Go into that app, Unicare Picker, and open it. You're going to see a lot of different symbols, things like that. Here's the Apple logo. Just press on it, and you can see it's copied. So now, when we go back to the Apple Watch app, I'll erase that. All we have to do is paste it, and it'll appear there. You can use up to four different symbols if you like, too. So you've got to play around with these because not every one will show up. So I'm going to try this one. Copied. Go back to the Apple Watch app. Paste. And you can see that one didn't work. And I knew that already, but I just wanted to show it for dem demonstration purposes. This one should work. So you see it's copied. Go back here paste. And now I've got two icons. Again, uh, if you're going to do multiple icons, I'd probably limit it to about three. So let's go back to the Apple Watch. Now, once you've got your uh, icons picked, just go back to clock. Now take your Apple Watch and we're going to want to customize it. So let's hit customize. Click on that center button because that's where we want our monogram. Hit monogram. Click that side button there. You can see now you've got your custom monograms. And that's tip number five. How to add a custom monogram to your Apple Watch. Let me know if that works for you. Leave a comment below. This is one of my favorite features too. This is number six using Hey Siri. So let's go ahead and do this. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. This is so cool for me and I get a buzz alert or that little haptic alert on my uh, wrist to let me know. So for instance, if I'm cooking something, this is perfect. I love this particular feature. All right, here we are at tip number seven. This one is how to use your Apple Watch as a camera remote. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you've got your uh, camera app opened on your iPhone 
and set towards your target. Then also open up your camera app on your Apple Watch. I opened up the wrong app, so here we go. Let's zoom in here a little bit so you can see that. Now I've got my iPhone set up to take this photo. So the neat thing about this is that you can actually use your Apple Watch as a remote. So you can click this to take a photo and that photo is going to store on your iPhone. Um, you can also tap the viewfinder on your Apple Watch and you can zoom into a specific uh, area to change the point of focus. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. All done from your Apple Watch. Now, the only thing is that you want to make sure that you're within Bluetooth range. I think that's about on average, I think it's about 33 feet. Correct me if I'm wrong. But again, this is a pretty kick-ass feature. Let me know if you've tried this. Using your Apple Watch as a camera remote. How cool is that? We're just plugging away here, guys. This is tip number eight. How to change the app layout on your Apple Watch. So you see, this is pretty basic. That's what it came with. So you can actually change the way that these appear. To do this, uh-oh, had photos open there again. To change your Apple Watch layout, you're gonna have to go back to your Apple phone or your iPhone. <laughs> Make sure again, you're on my watch down there. Now we're gonna tap app layout. And you can just pull these any way that you want to. I think they all have to be like in one line as far as how they attach. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I do know there's some experts out here who have mastered this and come up with some ridiculous designs. Now I'm gonna leave a link. This is one of the articles that I found, one of the best ways to do it on iDigital Times. So I'm gonna leave that link below there and you can take a look and hopefully it'll help you come up with something really creative. That's tip number eight, changing the app uh, layout on your watch. Number nine is how to send a heartbeat to your friend. I'm not sure, I mean at first, when I first got the watch this was pretty cool, but not sure that I'll be using this, but let me know if you use this feature. Let me know if you use it often. To use it, all you do, you hit that side button there. Get to your friends. I guess my phone locked up, so let me unlock this real quick. Just easier to do it that way. So you hit this side button here, and you're going to get to your friends. Okay, you hit this finger button right there. That'll show only if they have an Apple Watch. I'm gonna press down with two fingers. And you see that? After you lift your fingers, that heartbeat is gonna be sent to your friends. So that's how you do it, folks. That's how you send a heartbeat for whatever that's worth. <laughs> Here we are at tip number 10. This is how to send or reply to animated emojis on your Apple Watch. And this is a really neat little feature. I, I like it because you can send these emojis to people who don't even have an Apple Watch. So to do this, when you reply to a text message, once again, let me... So I'm going to hit this side button to reveal friends. So say, for instance, I'm going to reply. I'll hit that smiley face button there. And I'll just send. And again, if I'm just going to create a message, I don't have to reply. Um, I'll do the same thing. So I'll hit cancel there. And it did send. So let's take a look. And you can see the message came in and there's the smiley face emoji. And I like this again because you can send these emojis from your Apple Watch to people who have an iPhone 
I, I think you can even send it to people who have Androids, things like that uh, as well. So this is, a again, a cool feature because they don't need to have that Apple Watch and you can still have a little fun. In this tip, it's number 11, I'm going to show you how you can quickly mute one of your incoming calls once it comes in. You can use your palm to just mute the phone call. So I'm going to show you how that's done really quickly here. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your watch app on your iPhone. And I'll go back here and just make sure this is enabled. So in order to do that, scroll down to sounds and haptics. That cover to mute, make sure that that is enabled so you have that turned on. What that essentially does is that any type of alert that comes to your iPhone, or excuse me, your uh, Apple Watch, you can just use your palm, cover, and mute. So, I'll show you how this works with a phone call. So, let's get a phone call coming in here. There you go. You see the phone call? Just going to mute. And that does it. So that is how you quickly mute an incoming phone call just using your palm. Tip number 12. I'm going to show you how to use Apple Pay really easily on your Apple Watch. There's two ways to do this. This is the more complex way. You use the Passbook app. Just press that Passbook app. And all you do is double click that side button there and you're all set to pay. Now there's a shortcut to doing this as well I'm going to show you. All you have to do is double click this side button right here really quick. One, two. And now all you do is hold that near the uh, reader and you're all set to pay. So that's how you use Apple Pay on your Apple Watch. Good luck. This is number 13. This is how to use Siri to open apps on your Apple Watch. Now you can use two features with this. You can use the Hey Siri feature, or you can also use just the uh, long hold on the digital crown. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use just the long hold on the digital crown to show you how it works. So say you want to open up settings. Let me unlock my watch again. You guys think you're going to know my code by the end of this video, but I got a trick for you. I'm going to change that. <laughs> Here we go. Siri, open up settings. And you can do this with a number of different apps. This is tip number 14. Did you know you can use AirPlay to play music from your Apple Watch and send it directly to your iPhone, another Bluetooth speaker, or your Apple TV? It's really simple. Now to do this, open up your music app. Force touch. It's going to open up this menu. You've got the option to repeat, choose your source, or AirPlay. For the purpose of this, we're going to click AirPlay. I've got my headphones hooked up to my iPhone, so I can hit headphones. That's going to take that music directly from my Apple Watch and play it in my headphones. Or I can hit Apple TV, and it's going to play on my Apple TV, which is also hooked up to exterior speakers. So that's how you do it, folks. It's simple as that. Let me know if you use this feature. Okay, this is tip number 15. What we're going to do here is we're going to enable handoff on the Apple Watch. Handoff allows you to start something on your Apple Watch and finish it up on your iPhone. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we've got it enabled on our iPhone. So let's click that Apple Watch app. Always make sure you're in My Watch. Let's hit General. Scroll down and enable handoff. Make sure that that's turned on. And again, what this is going to allow you to do is start something here and finish it up here. A lot of the apps aren't enabled for that right now, so you kind of have to play around. For our purposes, we're going to start or use that same music app that we used in that last tip. So let's go to music. 
I'm going to turn off the phone here. So we've got a song here on music. Now, we're going to pick that up right off of the iPhone. So you can see this little icon here. When you see that, you scroll up, sign in. There it is. You can pick up right where you left off, taking things from your Apple Watch and handing it off to your iPhone. And I know I went way back with this one. <laughs> My music collection, I've got a ton of different songs in there, but I went way back with this one. Number 16 is using your Apple Watch to take a voice memo. If you're like me, sometimes you get into situations where I'm driving and it's a random thought that just comes into my mind. I don't have a piece of paper. Or it's not even safe to use that piece of paper to jot something down. So in comes your Apple Watch. To do this, you want to make sure that you are one of your friends. So... In the new update on iOS iOS 2, right now you can just add a friend. So click that button and add yourself as a friend. I've got myself added already. I'm going to click there. Act like you're going to send a message or click that message icon. Click the mic. Just a random thought I'm sending to myself today I had this thought while I was driving and thought that I would send it and just make a long note of it. Click done. You can either send it as audio or send it as a text. I'm going to send it as text. Now check it out. That's that rambling message I just left for myself, and boy, did I ramble on. But you can see, it's an easy way to be able to store some random thoughts that you have, especially when you're driving, this comes in handy. This is number 17. We're going to add, dig add digital time to one of the uh, analog Apple Watch faces. I've got Mickey Mouse going there, and it's really cute. However, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell exactly what time it is. I've got a fix for that. There's an easy way you can do it. Let's go to the Apple Watch app. Hit clock. City abbreviations. So, I used to have the city abbreviations here for NYC. What you want to do, whatever your home city is, delete that so that it's blank. That's the first step. Now that you've got that done, go back to your Apple Watch. Let's customize this. Now up here, let's scroll. I want to get to that New York time that I set up. That's Cupertino, the world clock. And that's the one that I set up. You see it's blank. So you want to make sure that it's blank. You're all set. Now you see you've got the digital time there. And you can still enjoy your cute Mickey Mouse watch face. We're almost done. Just stick in there just a couple more minutes because I promise I got a couple of really great tips for you that I haven't shown you yet. Hopefully you picked up something so far that you didn't know. Number 18 is how to rearrange and change your Apple Watch glances. Now the Apple Watch glances... I know you guys are getting tired of me doing my password, but I don't want to keep my watch on during this video. These are glances. Quick and easy access to various settings on your Apple Watch. 
Now we can change the order of those and we can also change which ones we want to even appear. So as usual, we're gonna open up the Apple Watch app. Make sure again, we're in uh, My Watch. Scroll down to the list of apps. These are all your apps that are available. And you, your, yours may look different than mine or it may look the same. So around me, show on Apple Watch. I'm not gonna install that one because I wanna make sure there's a glance for it. So here's one. You wanna make sure you've got show in glances so that if it's able to be shown uh, where I just showed you in glances, you'll see this. So I'm gonna install Bing on here. I have no clue why that's still saying installing. Then we're gonna make sure we hit uh, show in glances. Next thing we do, we go back, tap on glances. Let's go to right here, glances. Let's click edit. And you probably know how to do this. It's These are things you've seen before. This is how you change the order. So I just added Bing. So I'm gonna put that at the top there. You can also delete them or remove them from your glances. So we're done. Done with the phone for right now. Let's go back to the watch. And now it's loading Bing. So instead of that first one that I had there before, it's loading Bing now. It's not a native app, so it's gonna take a little bit before it loads up, but that's how you change your glances and also change the order of your glances. Tip number 19, I'm gonna show you how to unlock your Apple Watch with your iPhone instead of typing in that passcode every time, just like I've been doing 50 million times during the course of this video. But the uh, bad side is that you're going to have to have it on your wrist uh, for it to work. But it still works, and it's an easy way to unlock your iPhone without having to make sure you get those digits just right. We're going to start again in the Apple Watch app, as usual. Make sure you're in My Watch. Let's scroll to Passcode right here. Now it's gonna tell you to punch your passcode in to unlock it to continue. So you wanna hit this and make sure that it's enabled. Type in your passcode and there you go. Unlock with iPhone. So when this is on, unlocking your iPhone automatically unlocks as long as you're wearing it. So again, a little downer, I wish you could do it when it was not on your wrist, but I'll show you how that works. Got our locked iPhone. I'm gonna put it on, give me a sec. iPhone is locked. We'll turn on our iPhone. Unlock with the iPhone, and there you go. Now my iPhone is unlocked. It's as simple as that. Easy peasy. Number 20 is how to change your default message replies. We're gonna start by, as usual, going into the Apple Watch app. All of this is done right from the iPhone and it'll make the changes on your Apple Watch. So open the Apple Watch app, scroll down to messages, default replies, and any of these default replies, you can just type in what you wanna type in. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now that default reply is going to appear on your Apple Watch. So you can change any or all of them. It's that easy. This is tip number 21 for you. And this is how to force close an app. 
we've all been there. You've seen the circles or um, it's trying to open the app and something stalls and it just doesn't go right. I'm going to open just any app here and you see the circles there. To force close that, hold that side button down until that power menu appears. Then we're going to hold it down again until we get back to the other screen and that app disappears. So there you go. We just force closed it. That's how you force close an app using your Apple Watch. I really hope this video helped you. I hope you got at least one good tip. If I'm lucky, maybe you got three or four. <laughs> really lucky you got all 21. But in either case, please like and subscribe to the channel. I worked really hard so that I could bring you this video, and my goal is to bring you more. 